Hi, this is Daniel O'Connor from Warbit. In this quick video, I'm going to explain how the administrator can customise notifications on their own system to make sure that all users behave in a manner that you want them to behave. Okay, so I'm logging in as an administrator. When you log in as an administrator, you'll see this the, 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 the landing page is a bit different. On the left hand side, you can access and get an overview of how your system is working. But if you scroll right down on the left hand side and click customize messages, this is how you access and here is your customized messages. You will notice that Warbit has already suggested certain templates, so let's just go through a few of them to give you an example. So the first message relates to the organization portal so it's this message here the administrator can customize that the second message is the welcome email which your staff receive when they sign up to Warbit or the, what, the second is the activation email so you can see here the content okay and you can customize that content to fit your own policies and procedures at any point you can reset the content to its old template form. Let me show you what this one looks like. So here you see the welcome message from one of our customers. Okay. So you'll see there's a lot of different notifications. I'm going to pull out a couple of important ones. So the activation email is important. At this point you can tell your staff exactly how you want them to use Warbit. And there are several more which you, which are used to nudge and poke your staff to behave and users in the right way. Okay. So let's do um, claim confirmation is an important one. So hi, name, I confirm your claims has been successful. This will then fill in all of the item details. This will then fill in the old owner of the item automatically. And then the administration might want to customize this to to tell the user how to go about doing the transfer of the asset. Okay, so here's an example from a customer. And um, so they're telling the customer or the new claimant exactly where the items are stored, what they need to do to go and collect them. Okay. Now this is obviously customizable, so you can put in your own instructions. It might be please call this caretaker on this number or it might be please fill in this please fill in this online form. Something that integrates with however you move items around in your organization online. Okay. So let's pick out another interesting one. Various ones. What I suggest is that you sit down with your initial stakeholder group and go through each of these messages to make sure they match what you want. So here's an interesting one. This is the message that will go to any third party that claims an item off your organization. So that is, if you've allowed it, so that is any third party, i.e. external organization claiming your items. So they get their own specific message, okay? And you will want to customize this to reflect your needs. For example, you might want to add in your um, access policy, your contract policy, uh, health and safety policy, that sort of thing. But basically, you can tell the third parties who claim your assets exactly how you want them to behave on your estate, okay? And here's an example of one of those um, messages, okay? So you can see there's a contact detail, and then there's also um, various advice to make sure that, that transfer happens. Okay. You'll also notice that there's a legal document here, which is the transfer of ownership, which is the which is for donation to third parties. Again, this is a legal document which manages the passage of the ownership of the item, which helps to manage your risk and exposure for liability. So it's important that this message is passed to your legal team to check whether it is suitable for your purposes. If it isn't suitable for your purposes, your legal team can customize that message as well. Finally, there's a set of site guidelines. These apply to your staff only. Okay. So whereas this this whereas this agreement is a legal agreement between the third parties, this is for your staff with a set of rules. And these rules will appear when the staff member signs up at the portal. So um, let me just show you here. So the staff member fills in when they try to when they try to join your portal. Staff member the staff member fills in these details, okay, and then here's the rules. So you can customize.
customize those rules, okay? So you can customize rules here, yeah. And that's all I'd like to say about the notifications. So you can customize them all. And the, the purpose of customizing the notifications is that your staff and users behave in the way that you want them to behave, okay? Thank you for your time.